Oh, Scott Dixon, oh, we got a crash at the back. That's Marcus Eriksson. Around goes Pietro Filippaldi. Leaves the door open. Fairclough's on the grass. He smashes through the sign. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's have a look at the accidents involving the Hasses and Sergio Perez. And you get the feeling Perez got tagged there uh, by the Hass of Kevin Magnussen. Trying to make up for it today as he challenges for position. And that's the 85 car that's gone spinning. That is Alex Connor. Uh, through sector, well, through turns three and four. I'm also looking on my screen. Roman Belinsky's car is moving. Oh, big crash. That is, goodness me, that. Very nearly going sideways. Kaz Habercourt fastest through the second sector. Francesco Braschi now fastest through the second sector. Oh, we're in the wall, guys. James, I don't know what happened. It sounded a little weird, almost like the, the drive line locked up a bit. It was a weird, loose sound. Has come up. Their numbers have come up in Monaco. Oh. And this is the reason why Maloney well, this is the moment then, and we'll debate it as much Whoa. as you like. But, uh, yeah, Dirksen, yeah, you... He's too far back. He tries to leave it as late as possible in the braking. The two cars get together. Mikael Schrey spins around. Oh, he gets, he gets hooked. Yeah, he went to move up the track a little bit, and there was someone there. Was Brett, that Brett Moppet? Yep. And then watch this. Moppet, mm. bad Moppet, had committed to the top, and that's where Akram went. La mette tutta, qui attenzione, ancora un high side, tanti piloti lo dicevamo con Dalio, viene fuori. Just like Moto1, can he hold the inside though this time? This time he does, big pile up. Looks like Aaron I think that's Plessier, Plessier, yeah. Koji going a little wide, he's also going to lose ground to Davis. Yeah, Davis trying to pick his pocket a little bit. Ooh, oh, no, no. Oh. Spins, Davis, not sure if Davis is the one who came down. Não tem jeito, curva zero, meu amigão. Ou você vai para mureta de fora ou vem para mureta de dentro. A de dentro parece que é mais dolorida um pouquinho. A porta de fibra ela tem um pouquinho. Ó, que, ó, que é o que também, né? Por que será que abriu a porta, né? Aí não tem muito o que fazer, né? Não tem muito o que fazer. E olha só como é leve ali a porta. A pessoa opta muito, né? Pelo não, material eu... em fibra. He didn't appreciate it? É, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it looks like, tough. you know, that's such a big commitment, right, from the 98, right? You're trying to slide somebody, the top is so much faster. Saw so he was off the track restarting the bike. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, as I was saying earlier, we saw Tom Vial go off the track. Ferrucci on the outside of Rossi as well. We got cars high, we got a spin. Andretti, Marco Andretti. Oh, just Andretti clips the global. Wall. 17 car right there. He's got the four brand new tires. He's got one of the fence back here. Shane Van Gisbergen in the fence. Shane Van Gisbergen hits another one of these oh, tires. A big wreck. Goodness. Justin Allgaier in the wall at the front straightaway. And then here they are off a of turn four to seven. Was just, to be clear, but he was not, not clear. clear. And the, the 20 went into the wall, I think, trying to give him some more room there. Yeah. Traversa. Olha só a disputa entre eles. O Gondra é, estava junto. Foi com o Beto Pontes. Foi com o Beto Pontes. Aí atravessou o Sangali, o Sangali tirou, que tirou. Que tirou. <risos> On board the Arrow McLaren Chevy Pato Award. Oh, oh, that's oh. why we call him the oh. Ninja. The Ninja is fighting. To the track, let's have a look. What a... His defense, it wasn't that tight earlier, but now with it moving after Plato hit it. Probably going to take out Matt Nickel Jones by the oh. look of it. Just get it stopped. Matt really read that well, didn't he? Opened up Petro, oh. spun by Kakert, then gets round Richard Neary. Does loop. Ooh, tanto vediamo proprio Maryland andare leggermente largo. 
pone Boris Ted Jr. Leggero ah, chiude anche su Vostovski che però non vuole assolutamente lasciare rimanere indietro The Porsche Endurance Challenge North America round the outside up into the corners the 224 Oh, oh look already Blank an accident Yeah Blank coming up the inside takes out O que acontece aí com o Edu? Não, ha Rafael comprou pronto, hein? Ah, rapaz. Rafael Correia comprou pronto. Tá aí a imagem pra você, ó. Tentou tirar, mas não tinha pra onde ir. O Rafael Correia, que pena. Olha, chegou a hora. Duas voltas agora. Ai, 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 ai. Aí é pancada forte. forte, pancada forte. Do Pedro Antunes. Wow. And then a oh, 360 degree spin through the grass in front of traffic at over 200 miles an hour. Does not have to take the five red lights as well. That rule is at the discretion of race control, and race control have gone. Se a gente consegue. Rapaz. Rapaz, deu direto no guardeio ali. E ali é, não, tem, não tem pneu, não tem nada. Yellow flag out a sector one. Oh no, it's not Francesco Prasky, is it? Oh. He's just put the slick tires on. Happened to his contact with Francesco Giacone in their battle for position. They were squabbling over eight. With Zalonka making the move and then. And then What happens here? Uh, he can, just can, loses it on his own. Quickly, the track's driving. Oh. I think that's going to be contact way, way too late there on the brakes. You can see it locks up, trying to squirm. Ah, oh, there's a Maserati going through. That's Max Gunter on the inside of Jake Hughes. And he, in turn, is then sent into Edo Mortara, subsequently out of the race. Let's have another look. Stays right. And yeah. innocent victim there. Nothing Edo could have done. Let's have a look. He's going through on the inside. Oh, he just clattered into the side of Nick De Vries. I wonder why De Vries had dropped down the order. And that is why. Why lá dentro? Para retomar a segunda colocação. João Simonsi. João Simonsi. De terceiro para primeiro. Oi, ai, 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 a pancada dupla. Seguiu na pista. Fora da prova. Aí você viu o carro do Rodrigo Rocha, Rodrigo Rocha. Yeah, I think the right front was. Yeah, you see the car kind of go straight there. I think the right front got cut down from the contact on the front stretch, which wound up uh, wrecking both those cars. Yeah, it was hard to tell what happened there down the straightaway. I don't, I don't. Obviously, they made contact, but I'm, I'm not sure if someone turned down or came up. It was a little tough to tell from the end car. And, and obviously. Cole Custer did not know what happened. Tend to let things get to him as we, the XL driver has a look here at Ella Lloyd. Bounces over the curbs and as a result, lost a little bit of control. Tagged Ella Lloyd and Ella, that's heartbreak for her. This is the drama at Redgate then, Joe. So yeah, Marcello turning around Palmer and hard to see from far, but Mitchell. Wow. Keep on Gabriel Piana in the silver and blue BMW. Looks at the inside, then he saw a gap up the middle. He went, I'll have some of that, thank you very much. Uh, almost took the lead going into the first. Nine, yellow flag at turn three as well. Oh, goodness me, that's a huge impact. Red flag, and that is the Polcini Rolf and Icon car, if I'm not mistaken. Sixth fastest right now, and the smoke billowing out to the back of the huge impact coming through the first sector. That's my opinion on it. I, I think that maybe there was, should have been a little bit more respect there given. Um, but yeah, n nevertheless, that was a, a, a trip to the pits for Diga. This one, a uh, oh. literally made of the seat, uh, of the streets. So, car 35 is going to come in for a drive through penalty. Oh, we see another spin. Ooh, oh, and contact. Tagged. Contact with the racing spirit of Le Mans car. I think it's one of the CD Sport cars. So, we're going to see it's contact. It's contact with, I think, the uh, the BHK car, and uh, thankfully it's not the ANS car. MV2S racing car. That has had a big shunt. Oh, a huge shunt! Down the back. We have a safety car. We have multiple cars in the barriers. Uh, James, sort this one out for us first before we talk about anything else. What do you understand will be the order that will restart? This is a replay at bus stop. 
And uh, coming together with the Blau Motorsport Ferrari. Oh, unfortunate there. The car number 16 belonging to Marcello Han. So that's the leaders going through and then wait for the car who is wide. Uh, Martin shouldn't be that far down. But here, Plato down the inside of McLeod. That is big damage. That tyre stack actually has moved a long way, hasn't it? Hunt appreciated that. The drivers now have to deal with it. This super slow-mo camera has earned its money today, just hitting the tyre stack. At the finished article stage, big moment into the barrier. Yeah, losing it late as he puts the uh, as he puts the throttle on there, and it's Correa. That's significant. Here's another great battle for the 55 and the 12. Ooh. That is the cars of Lauren Demuth and Hash. As we now take a look at this replay, this is the moment between uh, Christopher Harser and also the 19 of Marzio Moretti. The back of one of the Ferraris, whose car was it? It flew. Oh, there's a big connection there. Oh. The Porsche number and seven. the number seven. That's that is the car collection Motorsport. There's in the back spinning. I don't know why. Yeah. Heavy contact with the inside of the wall. Hard to tell what happened right there, other than. He was headed down the racetrack. Ele vinha ali com o Jairo Andrade à sua frente. Nossa, uma reação bem estranha, né? Exatamente. A hora que ele deu no freio, o carro apontou. This is it, the red and black ART or the all black road, and it's the red and black ART, but the oh. all black road goes down the outside, and Van Hoopen is into the barriers at the back. Just about got there, is going to do the crossover, it looks like. Mate. Oh, trouble. Caught. Oh. The 06 goes around. That's Con Nicolopoulos. Ooh. Keep your eye on the American Legion Honda of Linus Lundquist. Whoa, he went right on the inside, lost control. It was an ambitious move. Something that it took uh, Sean Balf lap after lap to do. And Martin does it straight away. This contact, though, stay into the side of Simon Orange. Around goes the McLaren. Other cars taking avoiding action as well. There's a tyre that has come off one of the cars. Check it out. Oh. oh. Callum Island got shoved into his pit box. They had to push him out of the way. Has just taken his fourth pole position at Monaco in a row. Whoa. Sam Shaheen. Big one for Will Power. It's over for the Verizon Chevy. It's a huge one for Will Power. On the outside of Christian Rasmussen. Clear low. Just got high, got loose. Let's take a look at what happened. Oh, goodness me, the tyre coming loose, heading over Arouge and Radion, just making contact with a barrier. And the Australian, fortunately, seeing his car. The car lost it, surely still on slick tyres, clips from one of the cars in the gravel, clips three of the cars. All round as Luke Browning in the all blue Williams colours there, goes round the outside of Leo Fortaroni. Oh, spin. One of the Red Bull Juniors has gone round. Oh, big crash. We've got loads of cars involved. Breaks over in the, uh, breaks <laughs> over in the crane. Well, he's going to be a busy man, isn't he, poor guy, for the rest of the, for the rest of the day. A good start from John Newell at the back and a great start by Andre Kurzim. He immediately moves over to the right-hand side. Whoa, big contact between Jose Eduardo Rodriguez and Sasha Lenz. Those two have clattered together and gotten stuck. The bumper bar of Jose Eduardo Rodriguez's truck. Yeah, yeah. We've got a replay here of a moment coming through towards turn one. Oh, blimey, getting in deep. Oh, same place as where car 12 spun earlier on and Kiki Sack Nana. And you just can't see a big enough opening for him to get. Oh, oh big slide from the sub 86. That's the get speed Kiki Sack Nana and Adamo Seika Amcar. <laughs> Eric Clementeca just in front of Stefan Fast in the Chrome class. And look at Sasha Lenz coming through. Three places gained for him already. Oh, big contact between John Newell and Mark Taylor. Mark is spun around at turns. Ferrucci's on the hunt with the three Penske's leading. Further back, I think the blue and orange car of Scott Dixon. Oh, we got a crash at the back. That's Marcus Ericsson. Around goes Pietro Fittipaldi. And I believe that's, is that Catherine? Tom no, 66. We're on board here with Marcus Ericsson. What happened? Oh, Blumquist lost it down low. Damn it. And guys, the irony is that this is exactly the same mistake that took Marcus Erickson 
out on qualifying practice. On board now with Pato Award. That's Pelot in front and Linus Lundquist in the wall. The caution is out. It's another, another rookie. rookie. Jinx. You owe me a go. We're just going to have... There's Loke. Loke's lost the rear on the way in. Just to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, is he going to get a little bit of help on the way into 48? Yes. No, he's going to get a lot, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, into the outside wall. Car number 12. He's up into seventh place chasing uh, Abby Pulling. Oh, and that's Mika Abrahams. Gets tagged by Bart Harrison in the 77. Well, Bart was on four. There's a mistake from Linovich over the curbs, and that leaves the door open. Fairclough's on the grass. He smashes through the sign. He's lost the lead, but he's coming back on. He's got a little bit of signage on the car. He's got wing damage, and Fairclough was gunning for the lead. Jay, that was not what we expected to see. No, we've just seen another car off in the background. They've been turned around onto the grass. Lucky because it is just horrible. Not of his own. Oh, it's been a driver's gone around, and that's contact there. Ayrton Houck has spun, and I believe. That is Taylor, I think, contact as well. The driver's heading them down, and it's Solov tries to make the move. They crashed in front of me. I, I couldn't avoid it. I have so much bad luck. Do I, Jay Cascavel? And aí já tem o toque aí, é feio. Quando pega, aí a situação é mais complicada. O Pedro Cardoso desgovernado deu sorte de cruzar a pista sem ninguém por ali. He's going to get into him. And it is, I, th oh, I think Elman spins. I think Mark Elman spun on the inside, the sort of green and orange car. He's pushing up there. So one wheel escaped on its tethers, hopefully to stay in bound of the track. There's not a grandstand there. Oh. And into turn one. So the Mercedes to the inside, pretty unsighted by Tom Edgar, who goes to close the door, so... No, contact, contact, no, 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 to the summer bell, of course, uh, the uh, first name named after another driver, but Jan Marshalkowski gets together with him. The two cars making contact. Uh, to defend, can Harry Manager go right round the outside? He's almost cleared Jack, but he's sideways. Oh, and around he goes, off into the gravel trap. Harry Manjan, I think he lost that on his own. And it's a great start for Diego Menchaca. He's leaning clear, coming through turn one, but a huge collision coming through turn one. And I'm looking at it now. That looks like a Ferrari that has spun off. I think that's Nicola Marinancelli. Part of the pilot, we're trying to figure out what's successo because he's gone very long on the last curve. Perde il controllo, qui vediamo una vettura che addirittura riesce a scartarlo fortunatamente, insomma la diving turn si chiama così anche perché... Lose it, isn't she? And unfortunately, Paul Thomas with nowhere to go. Ooh, that probably looked worse than it was, actually. The bodywork is designed to shed. Capos amigos, o que que acontece nessa curva? Ela é uma curva GM. E yeah, essa... mas ele tá com o pneu furado. Ah, o pneu furou. Mas será que ele não furou ali na, 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 no fato dele ter errado? Eu acho que ele já veio com o pneu furado. Ele riesce a partir, scatterá, poi dalla pit lane, mas, por troppo, será poi costretto a ritiro per uma caduta. Matteo Pataca, muito forte, anche Christian Lollic, Kini Racing Team, que prova a rimanere com os primi Casalboni, mas aqui no início... only four. She now dives up the inside of Thomas and locks up and goes straight into the back of Ali Al Jafali. A big collision down at the Melbourne hairpin. So what happened to Russe? We only get a partial view of it, but there you go. Uh, well, that tells us all we need to know, doesn't it? Louis Russe. Passou onde tinha espaço entre a mureta e o carro adversário. E aí já tem o toque pelo Cardoso, já vai para fora. Seguro. O Pernia chegou ali já dando um totó nele. Ele consegue retornar, mas perde as posições ali para o Rafa Reis, para o Galídeo Osman e para o Pedro Cardoso. Ah. E aí agora é a vez do regado é sair. Do tente. E Lawrence on the inside finds an opening. Goes outside. Yeah, I think he was trying to square whoever that I think was. That was for Had a problem. Oh, there we go. Matisse Joubert into the barriers at Mirabeau. 
far by side with someone at the top of the shot. Yes, she is. And whilst there was a lock up further down the hill, there was contact at the top of it. And my word, that's a big hit uh, for Charlotte. Masterpool, watch top box on the bottom right. Remember Masterpool at the good start. That was him in fifth. Tipped over. I believe that was lap one. Davide Stirpe che con la Ducati nel garage 51 by Barney continua a spingere fortissimo. Giombini, peccato. Oh, it is actually going to be uh, James Schott who got the first whack and the second whack, and Alfie Davis uh, sort of caught up in it as well. But yeah, it was Alfie Slater. Fortissimo al Tornantino. E poi un altro contatto, la gara è complicata perché naturalmente da... Yeah, little lock up into turn one there, you can see his arms trying to fight it, trying to get it turned in, but as soon as he touches that grass, he's a passenger, nothing that he can do from that point, arms off the steering wheel, um, yeah. Seconda posizione, ottimo sorpasso per il terreno del bianco, la caduta di Alvaro Diaz con la Yamaha, ma non... Si va ad una staccata decisiva, il contatto purtroppo Zannoni, Plazzi finiscono giù, rallentato anche Bollani. You tell Tom's probably he feeling a little bit better than he was that first part. Oh no, well not there. And then he, he goes down, but that was all caused because he wanted to get close. Si riparte dalla pole position di Christian Borrelli e poi uno strike purtroppo. Per fortuna. Hymas make the move on Shimoda and then watch Shimoda here. Boom. Yeah, that's what escono ad allungare il pilota Yamaha Race Star Remoneri Cazzaniga in realtà intanto abbiamo purtroppo una caduta ultimo giro spazio all'interno per Savino che va all'attacco e passa Borrelli va ad aprire il gas con grande decisione cade riesce a passare incredibilmente